morning, guys. Welcome to Tuesday. If you're new to me, I'm Marshall Berkshire, and I help codependents rediscover their happiness after codependency by reconnecting them with their value, voice, and vision. I hope you guys had a good weekend. I know it's Easter weekend, and a, probably a very different one compared to what uh, <laughs> we've had a, normally, right? So I just want to check in with you. There, I'm going to ramble a little bit uh, as I let people show up. Let this get propagated out there on uh, Facebook. Uh, this weekend for Easter, I've uh, Snapchatted my kids and had a nice little roast dinner. Watched some Star Trek. Had some uh, time just to kind of rest, you know, and be grateful for the, the brilliance and miracles we have in our world right now, despite all the chaos and things that are going on on it's it's always it's like this mix of of well it's about reality right and you're you're typically gonna have a mix of, of some positive and negative elements going on there so okay so we're about a minute into this now so ha, the question i'm shooting at today came from a member of the thriving beyond codependency community and you can join that community by clicking the link above if you're on facebook if you're below on youtube and if you're on youtube hit that subscribe button uh, the question is is how do you find your true purpose when you're codependent it's basically what she put to me and it's a great question because codependency tends to absorb purpose we think that codependency is the purpose right it's the reason we're really doing the thing and that causes a whole lot of chaos in our world um, fundamentally codependency big desire and purpose is usually loving someone else getting somebody else to feel our love to help them love us and um, it, it tends to fixate on on helping other people feel better fix their problems fix them control things control outcomes things like that and we tend to identify with that as part of who we are that this is what we do this is where our value is at and that's not surprising honestly because of the transactional nature of narcissistic relationships so or any transactional relationship uh, which typically is dominantly rooted in narcissism you're dealing with a narcissistic parent partner sibling or peer and they're just using you for what they want and you're not getting a whole lot back you get a few breadcrumbs now and again but generally you're emotionally starving and this hijacks our brain into what's called a freeze fawn loop and that conditions us to respond or react to them by trying to get them to love us and keep us i call that the uh, consumer supply relationship in this comes this purpose this uh fixation of, of getting them to like us or love us and we do that by trying to please them by trying to become what we think they want us to be and that's a big challenge right that's a big problem because to do that we have to shed ourselves we have to empty ourselves of our own uniqueness our own brilliance our own individuality our own differences and we tend to absorb their preferences their meanings their purposes as our own and then follow those things and that can we get lost right it's a lot like living on a planet that wasn't designed for you if you go and live on someone else's planet you're like i don't understand the language i don't know what this means or it's it's going out and living someone else's life i mean how many of you have tried to be someone else you've tried to emulate someone you admire or someone that that you in you want to be like and you find that it it rubs the wrong way it's not really fitting it's really it's not really lining up you find yourself chasing a life you find yourself exhausted and and fighting and trying to find things yeah that's your signal that you're actually not in your purpose and codependency does a fantastic job of putting you way outside that purpose because real genuine purpose shows up differently it's not typically an external thing uh, because i approach hey laura um, i approach purpose in a very different way than other people do because uh, my systems we're, we're all designed my well 
my systems are designed to respond to you guys if you're dealing with codependency. And so my purpose, I'm kind of frazzled today, <laughs> I'll be honest with you. This has been a really, it was a good weekend, but it was intense at times. Um, with a lot of exposure and stuff like that. So it's it gets to me. I just be right up front and name it. There's some anxiety and frazzleness. But um, <laughs> the joy of doing this stuff, right? I love serving you guys. I love contributing. So back to purpose. So my take on purpose is it's actually a byproduct of being aligned with your true innate value, your true voice, and your genuine vision. It has nothing to do with an external expression. It has nothing to do with what I must be or must do in my life in order to be valuable, to be worthy, to be lovable. Most people confuse purpose with those things. Well, if I have a purpose, that means I'm going to be wanted and I'm valuable and people are going to love me. I, I can love myself, things like that. We typically are seeking those benefits through purpose. I don't, I reverse that. If I'm aligned with my value, my innate worth, and I'm living in the energy of that, which for me typically shows up as joy, and I am following the voice that comes out of that, the things that I'm inspired to say and do, to choose and not choose, and to follow, which becomes what's called what I call vision, which is the outcome, I'm aligning with purpose. So notice that purpose isn't I'm out there, like me doing this is not my purpose. This is an outgrowth or a byproduct of my purpose, and my purpose is joy. I find joy doing this work. Thus, joy being my purpose inspires this work to function. So does that make sense? Let me know in the comments below that this is lining up because... Uh, I hope it is. It's, I try to make it pretty simple there. That's where purpose comes from. See, now if I'm in my codependent programming, so my innate value is aligned with shame and I don't have value and I'm worthless, so I need to find it outside of myself through someone else's approval or rejection, uh, my purpose suddenly becomes about pleasing them. Now my body immediately starts to hurt. It is not fun. It does not like this. This is not enjoyable. This is not... Ugh. Yuck. And that's a really good signal, guys, um, because in the happiness strategy, I teach you how to know the nine expressions of your innate uh, value and your true voice. And one of those is that repulsion and that pain. It's just like, oh, this isn't right. It's really important because when you know how to identify your voice from the programming of your past or from what other people's expectations are, you can find your purpose quick because it just shows up. You're like, oh, my my. I'm aligned with my joy or I'm aligned with my... Um, there, there's other innate values people have. Joy, love, contribution, connection, play, expression, creativity, whatever that thing might show up. But it's whatever brings you alive within you. It feels like I'm home within me, right? Whatever voice, whatever expression comes out of that, whatever vision or outcome that creates, that's the purpose. Right, So purpose can be as simple as you sitting at home knitting or making masks for individuals. Your purpose could be as big and complex as, as building a movement that would change things. Um, sometimes a purpose is really conditional. Like my purpose today is to talk with you guys and then talk with my students and happiness strategy tonight and um, then work on... Uh, next week's class you know because these things align with joy that's the key joy is my purpose so when you choose an energy or an emotion something you want to regularly contribute and experience as your purpose these external things that we tend to identify as purpose become irrelevant and we become more aligned with what really brings us happiness here that's the secret here. Thank you, guys. Yes, yeah, so it's making sense. Kim, thank you. So that's, the, that's how I approach purpose. We exit codependency because we're no longer seeking our value, our sense of worth through other people. We're no longer seeking our identity and our permission to be who we are through them as well. Instead, we're rooted back in ourselves. We're owning our sense of value. We're aligned and feeling it. 
then we're following the inspiration that comes through that, uh, which is an expression of our innate voice, our true voice, and then that connects us to our vision, the outcome which we would like to experience, or the person we would like to be, that kind of thing. So this is how you find purpose out of codependency, as you leave the codependent spectrum and you move into the self-advocacy spectrum, being you, just as you are in the worthiness that you be, okay? Because we're not earning worthiness, we're not earning value, we're not earning worth at any regard in this. If you feel like you have to earn worth, you're dealing with a transactional system, a system that is trying to use you to give it supply in some form or fashion, and you're being manipulated and controlled. That's an abuse, and it, get the hell out, in my opinion. <laughs> I don't tolerate relationships and cycle systems that do that. I leave because I need to be me, and that's my joy. Fundamentally, if I'm aligned with me and just being me, then the joy shows up. So my friends, thank you for showing up for today's uh, pretty short training on purpose here. If you're looking to go deep into aligning with your purpose and knowing your value, voice, and vision, having yourself back, being able to trust yourself, have self-confidence, actually know who you are, love who you are, and live who you are, jump into the happiness strategy. I've got a few seats open uh, still for the live classes that start this Monday. So you can hit the, I'll put the link above for the application. If you're on Facebook below, if you're on YouTube, you can apply or you can take the master class and enroll in that. That will also get you access to the live classes right now. Jump in. Let's make that happen for you. This is the better way to heal from codependency. So I look forward to seeing you guys in class. Be safe out there. And today... Listen to what brings you in alignment with you, where you feel joy being you, you feel love being you. That's getting you aligned back with your innate value. And then see what comes out of it. What are you inspired to be, do, or have? And that can become your purpose. Well, being that innate value becomes your purpose, and then the demonstration of it is whatever you be, do, and have from that. So have a great day, guys. Be safe, be healthy, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.